So you want to buy a new home, but with inventory so low across all of Canada right now, you're hoping to buy your next home first with the help of little something called a bridge loan. Well, I'm going to tell you all about bridge loans right after I ask you to please subscribe to the channel to stay up to date on my marketplace of Surrey, BC, and Canada for that matter. And make sure you hit the like button to help get this video out to other people who are also wanting to learn more about bridge loans. Really quick before the video continues, I'm going to donate $1 during the entire month of October for any like that a video gets that's published within this month. All of that money is going to go directly to the Surrey Food Bank in replacement of our annual fundraiser that we normally would do, but we can't due to the virus. So if you want me to give a dollar to the Surrey Food Bank up to $2,500, you can do so right now by clicking like on this video before October 31st. And if you yourself would like to donate to the Food Bank this year, you can do so down below using the link in the description. Thank you so much for helping me bring awareness to the Surrey Food Bank and those in need. Now back to the video. Okay, so bridge loans. Let's get this record straight. A bridge loan does not allow you to buy one property first and then sell your property. Can you repeat that? A bridge loan does not allow you to buy one property first and then sell your property after. A bridge loan is what my personal mortgage broker Rowan Smith refers to as a bridge between two firm places. That means in order to qualify and get a bridge loan for your next next move, you need to have a firm and binding purchase as well as a firm and binding sale. And this is not the same thing as qualifying to own two homes at the same time. What people think they're getting when they get a bridge is to buy your dream home and then move into it and then sell your current home. What you're actually getting is probably the ability to go and purchase your dream home first before selling your home. But then when you go and sell your current home, a bridge loan is meant to kind of bridge the gap if you are unsuccessful in lining up your closing and possession dates. The bridge loan is designed so you can get into your next home and not default on a purchase if you are unable to successfully negotiate the sale terms of your home in order for them to line up because you're likely going to take the equity from your current home and move it into your new dream home. Or if you're just willing to pay for a bridge, you could possibly have both homes for a period of time, which makes your move a heck of a lot easier. For example, when I bought my current home, we set up a bridge so I could have not only my old townhouse, but my current single family detached home for a period of seven days. So we could come in, paint, renovate, uh, do whatever it is we wanted to do, then move our stuff in and then still have multiple days to clean the old place and make it ready for the new owners there. Okay, so now you know that you need a firm purchase and a firm sale in order to get a bridge. Well, the good news is you can do a bridge with as little as 5% down or you can do it with 20% down. Assuming that if you do do that, I said do do, if you do do the 5% down that you do qualify for the rest of your mortgage and that your current home has the right amount of equity because the bridge loan is actually borrowing the down payment for the new home in advance of getting your down payment out of your old home. Here's an example. You just sold your home for $500,000 and you owed 400 grand on that property. So you come out the other end with $100,000. So now you want to buy a home for $750,000 and the new minimum down payment is 50,000 bucks. So even after you pay all of your real estate agent fees, transfer taxes, you easily have the $50,000 minimum down payment to qualify for the new 750 purchase price. So you have enough to close on the property, but let's assume that you could only negotiate uh, the first of the month for the closing on the new place and your old place doesn't close until the 15th of the month. Well, now you have a need for a bridge and the bank will likely lend you that 50,000 bucks down payment that you need for the new place for that, let's call it 14 to 15 days. And you have to know that not all lenders offer bridge loans. So you want to make sure that the lender you're dealing with with your mortgage broker actually offers the service. Normally, bridge loans are going to be offered at about prime plus 2%. So in today's interest rates, I'm going to say it's about 4.5%. Next, the lender is also going to charge you a fee somewhere between $250 and $750 just to administer the bridge loan and that fee comes in if your bridge is a day or if it's 60 days. Now your interest on that bridge loan is actually accruing daily. So now you have your old mortgage to pay, your new mortgage to pay, 
plus four and a half percent on that other fifty thousand dollars that you borrowed well what does that look like well in reality it probably looks like about a dollar and 25 cents for every ten thousand dollars that you borrow every single day so if you borrow something as simple as fifty thousand dollars for 45 days you're probably gonna owe the bank about 281 bucks plus that initial setup fee but let's say now you need a 250k down payment for 60 days well that loan is going to be closer to 1900 bucks now and there's also a chance that your lawyer is going to charge you a little bit of extra money because they have more paperwork to do as well I'd set aside another 250 to 500 bucks for that. This means if you're looking for a bridge loan, uh, assuming that you qualify and you have the right amount of equity in your home, a bridge loan for the average person is going to cost them anywhere between a thousand on the low end and maybe as much as 2,500 to 3,000 dollars for the convenience of owning both homes for a period of time. And that fee is a heck of a lot better than defaulting if you're unable to line up your dates, or if you can afford it, it also makes it a hell of a lot easier easier if you have a family that you have to move if you can have both properties for a longer period of time. I mean really it makes your move a lot simpler. Please make sure to check out another video or two while you are here on the channel. Make sure you hit the like button for the YouTube algorithm. If you have questions about the market book a call with me down below in the comments. Remember to subscribe and we'll see you in a couple of days.